Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor again. In today's episode, we'll talk about Biocrist Pharmaceuticals traded at Nasdaq ticker name BCRX. Well, BCRX today went, of course, crazy high uh, for a company with market capitalization for two billions. This is really enormous jump. And if you would think of usually this happens based on news. And indeed, it was based on news, but not really related to company behavior or trader or whatever. But it's more about this famous Reddit fight or shorts traders that you have seen on GameStop, I'm a GameStop IMC. So now it looks like there was so-called uh, hashtag discussions on uh, Reddit about um, BO war, hashtag BR war, meaning that Reddit traders probably are thinking now to uh, prevent heavy short biotechs who develops rare um, disease com- uh, components, uh, com- compounds, components, etc. T- treatments not to be shorted anymore. And this is really funny because what happened with Viacris, it's a double jump. So it's first of all based on very well expected uh, technical support line at moving average 20. By the way, as always, at our daily chart, we have here three moving averages discussed. These are moving averages 20, 50, and 200. Here on the left, you see their legends being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. So what happened today? Uh, the very normal classical wave that started on the recovery by uh, somewhere 10 of all, uh, January went up and then was nicely symmetrically finishing. And of course, it was expected maybe pierce a little bit down moving average 20, but still to bounce and form next wave. Instead of this, we see this enormously high jump. You see this volume traded is crazy. And actually, this is kind of a challenge thrown in the face of shorts. So if tomorrow short selling will start, it's interesting if Reddit if traders will pick it up and if it will be the same uh, or second uh, GameStop or Stop or IMC. Really, is it so? If yes, it can be crazy. And of course, <laughs> well, it's quite hard to discuss here technically how to trade it. Technically, for this kind of uh, charts, what you expect either further grow or formation of cup and ca- uh, uh, cup and handle uh, structure, so something like this, or immediate growth. So it's of course already buy in the middle of the candle. That's the classical advice here, and that's what we will do. But still, be aware it could go enormous tomorrow. So uh, speaking of this, of course. It could be really crazy. And uh, first, we will discuss technical situations or purely technical based, forgetting this challenge on BioWar hashtag on Reddit. And later, second part, we will discuss those possibilities as well. So, first of all, purely technical analysis. Uh, on purely technical analysis, what you see here is indeed that uh, there is a trend line uh, seen here clearly. Uh, let's call it uh, T1. And this trend line was expected to be touched by price action, uh, but instead, okay, we just bounced back. So now uh, uh, the most expected situation will be because this is a candle with quite lower sh- downward shadow and smaller upward, so still bullish. We can expect some volatility here. And therefore, as I said, it would be advised to buy in the in the size of, let's say, one third of the, of the candle body and then the, sh- the shadow itself. So this would be the entry advised here, assuming some strong volatility. So if this is takes place, you just enter here and on volatility 10% you sell. So that's the advice here. And as always, we give advices to sell at our channel is 10%. Be positive trading many times, not trying to become rich from one trade. So this is the first entry opportunity. If this goes viral, if this goes really in use like this battle against shorting, okay, then just sit there, enjoy the, 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 the fly to the, to the sky, to the space even. If not, take your, uh, take your profit. Should the price decline and indeed if it will start forming kind of uh, cup and candle formation or maybe touching a moving average uh, 20 again, uh, then you just wait for, for lower level and uh, yeah, just easily enter here. It's uh, very easy in that sense, easy play. So let's draw it with green uh, since this would be truly support levels. So the very first one, very nice one would be this level. And then of course, another one clear support line is here. So if price declines further, then you can uh, average down these levels, S1, S2. 
uh, let's put it here. Should we, uh, yeah, so you can buy here. And by that time, it will be also double support, even triple, because there would be trend T1, moving average 20 will be there. And actually, by the way, moving average 50 is also, which is growing really fast here, will also be in that vicinity. So this will be very shallow defense if we go that low. But again, this can only be possible if this will be technical trading. Now we will, uh, later we will come to uh, this hashtag by a word thingy. So uh, should the price decline further, again, not expected at all here in this preset, but if, if happening, we always discuss these situations in our channel. Here is a very strong, very well historically also formed uh, another support level and in these levels you can do your final average down. Again, once you start making profit in technical trade, we advise to make 10%, uh, maybe 15 in fast growing uh, charts, not more. That's also how we do, how we trade. So be positively trading many times, don't be too greedy, don't sit too long in the stock. So that's the advice here. And again, <clears throat> since it's more like uh, Having possibilities to rebounds, advice is still one, two, two. So it's classical aggressive growing advice. Meaning that funds you would like to play here, you can split in five. Then you can buy with one portion the first circle. With two portions, you average down in the second circle. And last time, average down in, again with two portions in the second circle. And you do it according to entry levels discussed here. So this way, it will be the best optimization of profit versus loss. So this is one story. This is a technical trade. Now let's think what happens if we go indeed those viral uh, hashtag buy war uh, Reddit story. If this goes and becomes second GameStop or second IMC, well, then you enter the volatility and you just enjoy it. Let's say whenever it goes, just sell with the profit. Because if this happens, it can indeed go viral. Only sky is the limit. If you look this enormous volume, it's actually traded today. If this starts to be shorted tomorrow, it can be very volatile, but then if the squeeze will start, it can go nuts. And uh, this is, of course, um, yeah, very heavy fight will be here because company's market capitalization is still quite high. So uh, there is enough of volume to be traded, enough of uh, stock flow to be traded. It can really go viral. We will see how it goes, but still don't be too emotional. If it goes technical, so if you go just forming, you see forming uh, cup and can uh, handles, well, then just uh, take your 10% profit according to these levels, enjoy it, and also check other videos at our channel to always find something interesting to trade with and to make your profit. So that's the story about BCRX. Overall, of course, it's quite interesting. We're actually uh, seeing history being written about all these Reddit trades and uh, IMC GameStop thingies, kind of thingies. It might repeat further because, yeah, uh, people like it. I think if won't prohibited by uh, some legal or some, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, regulatory institutions, these kind of viral uh, trades might uh, happen again. Uh, not at all support. We, we do support it, but still keep being technical. Don't bet all your uh, portfolio. Never do it. So just be careful, uh, hedge your risks and funds. With this being said, good luck with buy Chris Pharmaceuticals and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor channel.